What a great introduction, everybody. This is Zayin, and it's an honor to be here. Uh, let's just say the say the commentary for afterwards. This is the proclamation to the president of my nation. First of all, as I pray to the one true God, the creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, the animals, this earth, other planets, and us human beings, to name a few. As I write this, I do wish that you, Mr. President of this great nation, Donald J. Trump, to also pray to God as you embark on something far bigger than you have ever been a part of or seem to have imagined. There are reasons why the moon rotates the earth, why this planet is mostly water, and why there is an Egyptian pyramid with an eye on the dollar bill of this country. You are officially prophesized as having a significant role in human history. Being, being in control of another human being or nation, that fact, has been coveted by many. The rewards, possibilities, ramifications of mind control, it's not for this statement. You, Mr. Trump, have been rewarded with holding the most intricate, complex, sophisticated, not just political or position of power, but the most complex vantage hand and variable field sequences of events ever documented in modern human history. You're scheduled to be the leader of the free world in the great enlightening year of 2020 where spirituality, science, and cerebral understanding of it all plus the all-seeing eye will reveal itself in disguise and plain sight to the worthy. It is below freezing here, but it's nothing. I'm a Cali boy, but it's nothing. It will be a beautiful and prophesized catalyst for all the great luminaries, scientists, logistics specialists, and viral specialists, artists, teachers, and other specialists who are currently trying to use their best minds and their best hearts to help this amazing planet that has provided all we need to survive, thrive, and feel alive. Over time, the way people interpret things, communicate together, or even learn about their history or planet has become filtered in so many ways that there are people in this country and others who cannot decipher or accept the things they see or are told or even experience with their seven senses as the truth, let alone promises to make this country great again. Donnie Boy, America, being great. Oh, life isn't always about the headlines, problems, and drama. From east of the Appalachians to west of the Rocky Mountains and the Grand Canyon, and so on, one glance, and one can see the one can see the beauty this country has to offer. All of us, me and you, in it need to be better, kinder, and more aware of this life we've been gifted. It seems if you cannot accept that you are a complete political and foreign, poli foreign policy novice who currently has prejudice, fascist, misogynic, and other viewpoints that are deeply rooted in your brain's nuanced wiring system after years of manipulation games, psychological warfare, being praised and hated, and your inability to correctly process information. Then the, act, then the art of mastering face and shock value, gaslighting, her trick, and modern media business connections via brand personality dialogue and other advertisement entities and the ability to infringe your thoughts, energy, and aura onto others. Those combinations of attributes are understandably causing a few vantage points in which you exist in relation to the rest of the world in 2017. People of this earth have long misinterpreted OK ways to admire celebrities, and celebrities have long taken advantage of their fans in different degrees of severity. The culmination of everything, modern entertainment, technological advances surrounding the media, the illusions and the dangers of superstardom, the content that is absorbed and made and advertised, not to mention the millions that use social media to satisfy holes in their minds and hearts are all in play, possibly for harmful purposes. Cause and effect, gravitational pull, yin-yang, the wall that the, that the mirror or the camera hangs on, the philosophy of free will, patterns of time, sociological illusions, mind control, soul searching, soul taking, frustrations of the confused mass hysteria, detachment from myself. It all ties directly to you, the leader of the free world. The world needs to rise to a point where we hold ourselves and others more accountable and are more forgiving of ourselves and others. 
We are all on this planet together. A leader who does not wholeheartedly care for all his people must assume they will either come together or destroy one another. But which would this leader have happened? I, for one, would have something to see happen, and that is what you have not wished for. That is global world peace between countries and any other fighting groups and suspensions of all weapons traded, sold, and bought around the world so one day people will be able to freely travel outside man-made borders to see all the beauty this world has to offer. You make good people feel bad emotions, emotions that some are, are unable to surrender to. This country would be a better one. The rest of the planet heals, survives, and thrives. Ask any geological expert, they will tell you the exact same thing. That is a fair assertion. With known mainstream corporations reaping benefits of crossbreed theories, ancient teachings, and magic, metaphysical, related content such as Doctor Strange, Young Pope, Mr. Robot, Ancient Aliens, The Matrix, Stranger Things, and many others before the current ones that lay the foundation for people to wonder about human, human and cosmic potential. And conspiracies of all kinds, sacred mysteries and the ways to live without formal governments should be drawn up thanks to realm shifters, revealers, and mediums such as Brian Greene, Sigmund Freud, Leonardo da Vinci, Shia LaBeouf, Ed Snowden, Ilana Glazer, Abby Jacobson, Albert Einstein, also Sir Isaac Newton, Dan Brown, Kid Cudi, J.K. Rowling, Robin Williams, John Lennon, MLK, Bob Marley, JFK, Tupac Shakur, Rod Sterling, Dave Chappelle, and Night Shyamalan, Buddha, the first Aztec shifter, Merlin the Wizard, King Tut, Bow Die, Bruce Lee, George Lucas, to name a few. He, he was already mentioned, my friend. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you the camera, my dude. I'm gonna give you. You can have it. I'm just trying to help. I I do not need any part of your help. I promise that in this, you know, in this juncture of space and time, I do not need your help. Okay. In another juncture of space and time, would you need my help? Possibly. If, if I find myself in another. That, that is a reasonable question. Uh, it is a possibility. You I want to help. If, 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 <laughs> These kids trying to get a piece. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's you guys know exactly what's what's going on. It's 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 a okay. If he was listening, he would have heard me fucking say it. Pardon my French war. The legends known and unknown of the past and now the underground speakers who keep alive messages of light while risking their lives will always live. Then. Imagery and word masters who are exposing threads of reality known by the world and unknown and everyday beginners are becoming intermediates to the mediums than with people who are not so aware but enjoy infringing on other people's realities seen on social media accounts, signs of all kinds, graffiti posters, subtle notes, phantom practices along with artificial intelligence investments by companies such as Apple and Google and then groups or alliances such as the Illuminati, Freemasons, and the bros of government, and other alliances having problems with infighting, data leaks, and moles, all will still try to play their game. You like to cause fear in people, and have much fear in you. Human and history in the future are watching these very moments in and outside of the space-time continuum. The all-seeing eye sees all. Your lie about donating 10 grand, let alone a penny, to any 9-11 fund should have halted your campaign due to the nature of the lie and the hypocrisy of your motives. It is very contradictory to your desire to quote-unquote protect this country and quote-unquote fight terrorism in a devastating time. For this country, you were nowhere to be found. Although you lived up the road, you were MIA. You had much more than the supposed quote unquote 10 grand and had a lot of resources like rooms, bathrooms, food and clothes that could have been used for good. The same with every New York City disaster or any tragedy. Now that you are the political figure, we all know that you care now. Most of us Americans do not have the luxury to not be held accountable for mistakes that are made in a manner that causes others 
harm with an intent to harm like you are accused of doing. Then, to not only show any compassion, the accusation within the situation took place. You are to a childish way of switching the blame, all while demanding everyone show an undeserving respect, obedience, and borderline <laughs> worship. What's up, my dude? All right. Listen, any, anyone, any, you know, here's the thing. This platform has been used and abused, as you guys know more than any. I do not watch anything, but I'm aware, okay? Anyone can say what they want, including me. It's up to you to decipher and encode your reality. It's up to you. Man, if someone doesn't see things how you see it, why are you going to infringe something on that person? If truly you don't give two craps about that person. That's just a little off the record. There are lives, livelihood, and life at stake here for this planet. This is real life, bruh. Your lack of compassion, the key trait for being a leader, will be exposed more than it ever has been. Not to mention your lack of real foot on the avenues and, and real New York City experiences is also a telltale sign you are not a true New Yorker. To touch briefly on your in, in, incoming administration and regime, let's begin with the youngest you will be serving. It's not okay if the children use you as an excuse to not condone themselves in a fair and respectable manner. It's imperative the youngins know they can win the game without playing outside the rules, low blow trash talking, and to think before they speak or type and to be all about the facts. Facts. The fact that you were not properly, properly tested on American history, your checker past, your supposed Christian faith, foreign policy, and other domesticated issues, the main on record untrue and hateful statements, and then to have close to zero resistance from your political peers to stop you, it seems very clear, crystal clear, you were prophesized, you were prophesized to be the 45th president of the United States of America. But, sir, I promise you, Many people across the globe are ready to help discover and really lead this planet in ways you cannot comprehend. It's no coincidence that many research groups and scientific, spiritual, and magic related studies are all closer to the past and future than ever before due to the diligent work ethic and the appreciation of all the knowledge and love passed on by past people of this earth. You try to defend your reputation all by trying to tarnish others. As far as the official metric and qualifications for the job you are in, you do not fit the appropriate standards. You had the least experience and you lost the debates. Anyone questioning your legitimacy, it's in their American right to do so. For the long term health of this country, according to any geological, geological expert, we need all the continents and the ones within them to prosper. We would not be the great country we are without the people from all over, with bloodlines all over this planet. Don't forget, Europe and Africa are about the same miles to this country. Do not forget some things like that. Pangea, I can go on and on, but I do not want to stay off the record. Excluding the agendas of other presidents, why did George Washington and the Founding Fathers escape from the father country to our country? The obsession you have with eradicating the words of your predecessors that is laid in stone or on paper is unnecessary and correlates with problems in your psyche. If this was a movie, it would be a great saga, but this is real, this is live, and this is now. With that being said, Donnie boy, you are not the root of the problem of this country. You are the apple that has blossomed. You are the effect of the cause. You are the red and green light of many intersecting roads. There will be a time when your followers and antagonizers will find out you were not the man they thought ought to be. No turning blame on your horribly picked staff like Carson or Bannon or your son-in-law, etc. When a member of your, since you, were, since you were novice, when a member of your regime gives you a briefing, how will you know if the information is true? Will you for once hold yourself accountable and be honest with yourself? To surely elaborate on initial reactions from the quote-unquote elections, some, some Americans felt helpless, sad, and angry that the country get to this point. Or some of them do not know. No. Hey, no. What some of them do not know is that they have been influencing the cultural landscape and their words, actions, information, and imagery they chose to be at the forefront of their conscience without maybe knowing. Some of your haters 
made it an acceptable culture for you to stroll on into the Oval Office. You are a man of impulse, but only certain impulses. You do not know what it's like to go from the grounds with nothing to the top. That's the old American success story. Your failed business ventures, your failure to diversify your business portfolio, or your fail and your failure to invent new business models, an obvious unwillingness to put anything before yourself, your hypocritical attitude, and your unwillingness for a fair fight or a fair verbal exchange, and unwillingness to, dis to disassociate from hateful groups who support you or all tell tale signs. You seem to see things like precious resources as time, U.S. soldiers, and any other assets as pawns in your game. All the while you have pawn of many others, most notably Vladimir Putin's game, whose intentions are very clear and seems to be ten steps ahead of you at the present moment. The earth is not that kind of playground. Your social media addictions, your thin skin, and need to jump to incoherent conclusions will not be of any help. There is a labyrinth of ways to explain the totalities of the paradox known as racism and problems within, within people of different skin complexions, orientations. Only I and a very few individuals can. I will attempt that feat at a later juncture. But to quote unquote brief you, Mr. President, after your win, people were sure about how they viewed people more than they ever have. For you, a creature unlike any other, who waited for this time on purpose like a true capitalist to jump in the game. I want everybody to hear this right here. Okay? What? When if in your eyes, when if in your eyes, Mr. Trump, America has fallen from grace, where are you to help in that juncture? In regards to your very clever Make America, quote unquote, great again slogan, what role did you play in the fall of America? How did you help prevent it? How did you help prevent it? How did you help prevent it? Did business practices and alliances like yours partake in overhauls and lack of support of the small guy here, here in New York City? Nope. Have you do to anything of the perceived decline of New York City culture? What did you do to keep jobs in New York and in this country to people that wasn't serving under the Trump name or hotel establishment? And did you also partake in many of the same actions you accused people of doing? And is the spotlight going to be too much for you? i got to ask you one more time. Is the spotlight going to be too much for you in this? What role and how did you prevent the fall of America? You're 70 something years old. If, if in your eyes, your whole life. <laughs> That's, that, that speaks for itself. Regardless, many people do not feel challenged to be a better. To, do, do feel challenged to be a better person and make sure the legacy of the great leaders before, of all colors, from all countries, stand stronger than ever before, thanks to you, cause and effect. You've been called a genius, a racist, a visionary, a liar, a savior, a few things you have been called, but you are not stupid. Foolish, maybe, but not stupid. Your initial responses to serious allegations, such as, such as such as the suspected hack breach by Russian or any foreign alliance or intel as complete hearsay. And in your fifth grade comeback to Miss Merrill was troubling indeed given both of the reputations and on record activities. Now you know what? Hey. Either, either, either or, either, go either for it, go for it, Listen, even if you try to stop me, I would say it either way. Because I'm here on behalf of you, Horace. Hey, preach your mouth. No, go for it, preach your words. I'm, 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 I'm not Malcolm. I'm not Malcolm. Preach it, say. I'm not Malcolm, bro. Preach it, say. I'm not. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, you guys can decipher and encode whatever you want to. It's not about me. It's not about them. Remember that. I'm putting myself in harm's way saying this, okay? There, you know, people, people come here and want to help their agenda. I'm getting way too much off of track. Then, to mock the agencies that are supposed to protect you, like the CIA, was quite perplexing. That will be something to monitor. Your admiration for Vladimir is obvious and troubling. You've been on record praising other dictators and saying words like Nazi with no proper regard. 
you love anything that is military Americana propaganda, which can correlate, possibly correlate, with false flag possibilities to further some overseas agenda like more oil, more money, and more death. Everyone, from the real elites like the Rockefellers to the homeless fellow on the on Fifth Ave, will be eager to see you move. I am eager to see you find God. Until that point, I personally. You fucking got that? I personally. Yeah. 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 You, you know? That, that, and that's all that really matters, right? Who cares what I fucking think? Who cares, man? Should I, I care? care? No, 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 no. Should I care? I hey, care. Who cares? Thank, yeah, thank you, man. Who cares what I think? It's kind of, you know, that's kind of one of the common denominators in the theme if you guys can't really. I know you guys are up to par. I know you guys are up to par. You guys. Okay. Not only can your legitimacy be questioned, but your American heart can be also. How much quality, self motive free time have you spent with heroes of this country? Service people who have fought, who are hurting or post-traumatic. What about the people who even support you, who are jobless, homeless, or in dire need of financial help? Have you gave one penny out? You haven't been on the foundation of the backbone of the heartland. Real Americans don't know they don't always have to agree but they do have to show the minimum acceptable respect to anyone and everyone to be considered a real American much is still left secret but a few shades of your true colors have been revealed as you know there are a few things your mighty dollar cannot buy cosmic karma can heal all God can show you right and wrong the first way is to opening your heart so your mind can follow the abandon you have for your followers is worth noting you have willing hypnotized participants willing to help hatch any plan you may be cooking up one piece of paper found out so give me one second I'm just about at, I'm just about out of you guys hair you know I, you know and I, I know um okay you were having fun on the throne. But at what cost? Your prior foreign policy statements, it's the last page, and your business venture resume may indicate that it may be difficult for those in need of available resources across the globe to receive them. Do not play keep away with goods that should be used for good. There will never, ever, 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 ever be a positive military or militia war on this earth's soil, water, or atmosphere ever again. Mother Nature needs us to need it, to need us to need it, to need it. Okay, everybody. President Trump, you're going to aim to take responsibility for all the great achievements set to happen in the upcoming years. It's exactly the opposite according to the laws of physics. That's something we can talk about. People outside of D.C. and T.T., which is Trump Tower, will be leading the way and illuminating the, the vision. The mortals who defend the immortal will rise. The Carpe Diem Crusade will be won through peace. People, young and old, strong and sick, will create. It will be a renaissance of life during the years of your presidency. There's going to be new ways to get water to Africa, food to Asia, medicine to South America, services to Europe, everything in between led by us and you, visionaries. Okay, this is an asterisk. I did enjoy seeing you some weeks photo photoed with Kanye West. <laughs> Although many people of both sides of of your circle did not support it, he is the only A-list celebrity living with a more weak, fragile mental framework and is more detached from his soul and God than you. Kanye West is also leading the people to believe he is something that he is not. God works in mysterious ways. God itself secure your victory for a greater good down the road. Any one of God's children, including you, can cleanse their souls regardless of anyone's free will done on this earth the path of light will be shown to will be shown to all regardless of anyone's free will done on this earth the path of light will be shown to all this is the only letter I will ever write to you Mr. Trump may God be with you Mr. Trump if anyone at all needs me to elaborate I am not on any social media no social media accounts but you can find me in Zayn California Z A E N California at Gmail, Z A E N California at Gmail.com. If you want a copy of the proclamation to the president of my nation, if you want to talk, agree, disagree, Z A E N 
California at gmail.com. Can we believe in aliens? Can we believe in God? Can we believe in one? Can we believe in all? If divided it will stand, that united will fall. Huh. I'm talking to you and I'm talking to y'all. There are reasons and there's, a, there's, a, there's reasons why there is an Egyptian pyramid with an eye on the back of the dollar bill for this country. Why did, why did George Washington, the founding fathers, run away from the father country to our country? I'm going to give the podium, the platform, to anyone who wants to use it, abuse it, anyone. Okay, I came here by myself. I will leave by myself. I am not any one of my physical allies is not physically here with me. I'm born in 1991 from California. I moved here in 2012 when I was 21. I'm 25 here now. Okay. Can we just go back to saying the thing? Jeez. The guy went on. How how long was it? Look that was a it. that was a message from um, a local pastor. I recommend everybody take notes, write it down. Uh, everything that he's saying is very important. He spoke directly to Trump. He spoke directly to Trump, guys. He's black pilling Trump. We're gonna have a black pilled president, guys. This is important. Yes.